Reward yourself for that. Yeah, it's almost hard to play enough break from that angle, Karen. Yep, just like that. Hannah, just to clean up. Straight forward, straight up the hill here. Hannah Green on the way. Punch from 125. Just the wedge. I think uh, players are just really aware that if you go past this hole, it's going to be very impossible to get your next one close in terms of you know getting that back bunker or something. So players are quite happy to take a longer putt up the hill. Nothing is overly flashy, but just really, really solid all around golf. Now Hannah Green fancies this one. Uh, that was pretty sporty. Yeah. I think Hannah's enjoying her life on tour a bit more. The fact that she can go back to Australia now without the restrictions. It's very difficult for the players from down under during uh, the COVID period. To this point, we know this putt is slow, so she needs to be aggressive. This was a part of her game, Karen. She said she just hasn't been making enough putts lately. She worked really hard on this coming into this week. It's a beautiful stroke, just not enough pace. It's amazing how frustrated putting can make players. Second at the 13th now for Hannah Green. Much more straightforward, Karen. Oh, basically a flat life, 192. This is a high shot, but she's pulled it a little bit. It's got to go to get over the bunker. It has. Oh, yeah, just enough. And that'll be an eagle putt coming up for Hannah Green. As long as it doesn't go too far, it's going to settle on the back of that putting surface. But there, there you go. That's how close it is from that angle. It looked a little further away, didn't it, from behind? Easy birdie. Easy birdie for Hannah Green. It'll be her first birdie since the second. First, though, it'll be Hannah Green. The reason for that is that NASA just had a little pit stop. Yeah. Hannah playing a nice shot there. I don't see how this doesn't move a little bit to the right, even though Jin Young Ko's broke the opposite way. That was positive. Yeah, good stroke there. This is the tee shot at 15 and Hannah Green. This is a really high, powerful looking tee shot. Pummeled, actually. Staring at it as if it was going a little too far down the right, but it's going to be just fine. No, the whole, whole location that that back is it's a little intimidating because you've got the bunker behind it. You know if you're a little bit heavy-handed and it's, it, it's a tough up and down from that bunker, but that was aggressive. I think it'd be right in our wheel. I see the little bumpiness there as it rolled through that longer grass. With the extra distance that she's gained, I mean, she almost has a little extra gear off the tee. Um, it really helped her on these par fives. Five yards less, 132. Nice smooth swing there. This one's going a little bit left of the flag though. All right, left edge. I think this is going to be pretty quick too. Back downhill, should go to the right. Good looking stroke though. Hold, hold her follow through. Mm. Not done yet. What was going on in the 17th green when she was on the 15th? Very nice. But now four off the lead of Nasa Hataoka. It's a little bit right of that tree, but holding on to that right side. Yeah, you can find the fairway, sat down Pushing quite quickly. Line. Got 192, best angle of the lot down this right side. But of course, the two palm trees on the right side of the green also come into play. Yeah, with that back hole location, yeah. it's not as safe, is it, playing no. it out to the right? You've got to be kind of short right to guarantee that you're not putting yourself in some tree trouble. That one's middle of the green. Good shot from Hannah Green. It's 17. Well, and I'm not sure in NASA and Hannah that were watching could really believe what they were seeing either. Can keep their concentration. Mm. Good putt, first putt that she had, and 
she would know what it did after it rolled past the hole. And, uh, a simple par four. Yeah, not easy for those two. Right now at seven under in second. And just been sort of carving her way around this back nine quite safely and very strategically. That's fine. You're right though, Karen. Hannah's just been very quietly going about her business here on this back nine to really put herself in position to make a Sunday charge tomorrow. Her game's been solid enough too. Um, definitely, as you said, Terry, great round of golf coming up for her too. Easy done. Do some tomorrow. So in second place all by herself after this 69 here on day three, Hannah Green at seven under.